This episode of Spectre Sound Studios has been sponsored by 70,000 tons of metal. Pickups! You need pickups! At least that's what everything I've ever read about guitar tone in my entire 30-year history of playing guitar has said. You absolutely must get new pickups. Your tone's not happening. Pickups, 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 pickups. I mean, I've been reading guitar magazines since about 1987, and every single issue of every single guitar magazine I've ever bought always has something about pickups on there, be it articles or ads or whatnot. There's just pickups everywhere. But then again, you know, print media pretty much died with the advent of YouTube, and that's absolutely fine because none of those articles ever actually, you know, could shoot them out and tell you what they sounded like. As far as pickup shootouts go, you know, there was the one put out by Seymour Duncan there a few years ago, but then again, that was a video put together with the sole purpose of selling you pickups. Now, were they being completely honest to you guys about the notion of getting massive tone shifts going from pickup to pickup? I don't know. Might be, might not. So how does one go about doing an honest pickup swap video? Because that's going to be a lot of work. That means a lot of soldering, swapping pickups in and out, you know, putting the strings on the guitar, taking them off, all that kind of stuff. And that is a serious, serious amount of effort to go into making a video. Or, you know, you could just go out and buy new pickups because you're taking an advertiser's word for it that there's gonna be a massive shift in tone. Now, when it comes to pickups, the only guitar it's really mattered for me on was this guitar here. This is a Jackson Rhodes Performer, and the pickups that came with this guitar were absolute shit. Not because they sounded bad, but whenever I had rusts playing with high gain where I'd stop playing, the pickups would just vibrate in the cavity here. It, the guitar would hum and feed back, and it was just horrible. So a buddy of mine suggested I should drop in some EMGs, did that and then the noise problems went away. Now, did the tone of the guitar actually shift? <laughs> Keep in mind that pickups are not microphones. A microphone is an acoustic transducer. It changes the acoustic energy of sound into electric energy. A pickup, on the other hand, is an electrical induction circuit. The pickup generates a magnetic field that these strings vibrate in, thereby generating an electric signal. Now, I am not saying we can't hear differences in pickup sounds. That's not even close to the truth. We can all easily hear the difference between a humbucker and a single coil. That's not up for debate. I even did that blind test there a few weeks ago, and while it turns out guitar players can definitely not hear the difference between, say, a Gibson ES. 335 from 1962 and a 1980 piece of shit from Harmony, uh, we can definitely hear the difference between humbuckers and single coils. You guys absolutely proved that, and for that, I am grateful. However, I've read a lot of comments from you guys making big, bold claims about the differences between humbuckers, the, the ceramic magnets versus the alnicos. And all I can think is, really? Do you really think it makes that big of a difference? Is it really worth spending hundreds on? Well, I just happened to find this guitar at 42 Gear Street last summer, and this is a cream tea. Gotta say, this guitar is absolutely incredible. It plays brilliantly. Might be one of the finest instruments I've ever had come in my studio, ever since I opened in 1998. But the coolest thing about this guitar, the important part, the thing that really piqued my interest, it's got a hot swappable pickup system. Pull them out, drop new ones in. Whoever engineered this system was really doing their homework, and I can only imagine the years that went into developing the system. This is absolutely incredible. Everything works by magnets. You just drop it in, away you go, swap your pickup out, and change your tone. <clears throat> I mean, these things are absolutely incredible. Not only do they just stick in by magnets, you don't have to worry about soldering or any of that crap. You can even adjust the height of the pickup by this little screw right here. This is really damn impressive. Now, this video is not sponsored by Cream Tea Guitars. They ship me the guitar, but I have to ship it to someone else once I'm done. I'm not keeping it. I'm not getting paid, none of that. In fact, I even had to pay import charges to get the bloody thing in the country. This video is being sponsored by 70,000 tons of metal, and I'm gonna have a word on that in just a minute. Now, Cream Tea was nice enough to send me four humbuckers for the bridge, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap them out. We're gonna run a test. We're gonna run it into the Angle Fireball 100, into my new Celestial Vintage 30, the one that I gave away the free IR on not too long ago, and that's going to be up for grabs in the video description as well, if you didn't get it already, because it sounds fucking amazing. It's the best one I've ever done. And I'm going to show you guys just what kind of differences you'll make in your guitar tone just by swapping out pickups. So pickups are Whisper Bucker Bridge, Crossfire Bridge Alnico, Crossfire Bridge Ceramic, and Duchess Bridge. 
Now, are they going to give you different output levels? More than likely. Are they going to shift your tone in any kind of significant way? This is the question I need answered because I've heard so many fucking times in so many ads, oh, you want to improve your tone? Get this pickup, get that pickup. Well, is it actually going to shift your tone at all? Let's find out. Let's run those four pickups right now. <laughs> amazing the differences were absolutely gigantic changing the pickups really does make a difference along with uh changing the cabinets as well <laughs> let me roll that clip for you again this time i'm going to show you guys what cabinets i was plugged into all using the same mic <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I pulled a fast one on you guys. Uh, but I am trying to illustrate what kind of changes are actually being made here and what's really affecting your tone. Hey guys, real quick. The shootout is brought to you by 70,000 tons of metal, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise. Now, if you're into metal and you want to get over the mid-winter blahs, get some sun and have the most fun you are ever going to have with your clothes on, then this is the event to be part of. From January 30th to February 3rd, 70,000 tons of metal sails from Miami to Bimini and back with concerts going on constantly. Now, I did this cruise back in 2019 and it was an absolute blast. It was four and a half days of absolutely nothing but metal. You can see as many shows as you like, sit in the sun, do an excursion, work out in the gym. Hell, you can just hang out in the hot tub if you like. And there's all kinds of special events as well. There's meet and greets with the artists, the belly flop contest, and even all night metal karaoke. The food is great, the music is great, and most importantly, the people are absolutely amazing. 60 bands are gonna be on board, and at the time of shooting this, 31 have been announced, including Cynic, Camelot, Uli Roth, and Nightwish, not to mention Jungle Rot, Creator, and Destruction, with many more to be announced over the coming days. This is going to be the metal event of the year, and I can't wait to do it again. Check out 70,000tons.com to get your tickets today, and I hope to see you on board. Let's do that test one more time, and I swear I'm not going to change cabinets on you guys. No, let's run the pickup swap one more time. <laughs> that ever changed the sound. Changing the pickups out really did make a huge difference. Now I finally get what you guys are saying when you change your pickups out and go, well, I can hear a difference. I totally heard the difference too. Of course, it might have had something to do with the fact that I also used four different microphones in those clips as well. Let me show you what I mean.
All right, all right, all right. I'm going to do it one more time, and I promise I will not change the cabinet, and I will not change the microphone. I swear to Crom, I am not going to do that. Let's change the pickups one more time. <laughs> Wow, those are some absolutely gigantic tone differences. Once again, did not change out the microphone, didn't change out the cabinet. I just changed out the pickups and moved the mic every single time using a dynamo. Same 57, just in different positions. I thought I'd show you what kind of difference that makes. All right, all right, all right. I promise this time we're only going to swap the pickups out. Nothing else, no trickery, no nothing. Just the pickups, same riff, same everything. Just so we can really hear what's going on. <laughs> in tones eh, maybe not really huh you know what when i got this guitar i was super excited to get my hands on it and swap out the pickups and hear exactly what the hell everybody was talking about turns out if you change the mic or move the mic or change the speaker anything like that yes you're going to get a pretty significant shift in tone swapping out a ceramic for an alnico though <sighs> You know what? I'm, I'm not really convinced that that's actually worth the investment, to be honest with you. I mean, like, for some of you guys out there, yeah, sure, maybe. And, you know, I mean, like, cue the butt hurt comments. I can already see them coming in already. I've been doing this long enough. For sure, we're going to get the, oh, you use too much gain kind of comments because we always get that because, of course, we're supposed to be playing blues riffs on a metal channel. It's like, wow, we're in a studio that makes heavy metal records. You think we'd be interested in what's changing the sound for heavy metal, high gain playing, that kind of stuff. If you want blues, this is not the place. If you're looking for edge of breakup, this is not the place. Now, the one thing I've learned through this entire experiment is that pickups are not equalizers. They're not going to change your tone in any kind of real significant way. Uh, some might be a little hotter than others. That's absolutely fine. Uh, some might be a little bit cleaner than others. You know, they might pick up a little less noise. That's fine too. But as for an actual revoicing of your guitar sound, no, that's not happening. Out of the whole bunch here, I think the Duchess Bridge had maybe a little bit more twang. It was a little bit more single coil E kind of sounding, even though it's a humbucker. That's perfectly fine. As I stated at the beginning of this video, hearing the difference between a humbucker and a pickup is pretty obvious, even in a blindfold test. So that's absolutely fine. You want to swap pickups from front to back, all that kind of stuff. I mean, are we going to get a difference in tone just by switching pickups? <laughs> There you go, moving the pickup from front to back. That's got a pretty significant impact on the guitar sound. Why is that? Because we're changing the physical distance and the string is doing something different closer to the bridge than it is further down the neck. It's vibrating much farther down the neck. That's why we get the bigger, lower frequencies. Now I am kind of curious what would happen here is if we take, say, the Crossfire Alnico and we're gonna move it from the bridge to the neck. OK, 
Okay, once again, that made a really significant change. Just moving the pickup from here to here rather than changing out the different pickup types. It's amazing what you learn doing these experiments and where you should probably be putting your money. Now, am I saying all the pickup manufacturers out there are being dishonest with you guys? No, but are they giving you the whole story? I'm not so sure about that. Once again, when it comes to clarity and noise rejection, sure, hotness, absolutely. Single coil versus humbucker, sure, no problem whatsoever. But actually changing your guitar's voicing in a way that is going to justify the expense, I'm not completely sold, that's for sure. Now, I'm sure the other big reaction we're gonna get in the comments is, this test proves nothing! Because I always get that from people when they're proven wrong, and chances are anybody who's typing that in right now probably just dropped an awful lot of money on pickups he probably didn't need to buy. Now I have to stress here, my ultimate goal with this video is to maybe help you guys make an informed choice as to what's going to change your guitar sound when you're recording at home. This video is for everybody out there who's working in their bedrooms or their mom's basement or whatever, who's scratching their heads wondering why they can't get the guitar sound that they're after. If that's you, I ask you, please watch this video again one more time and evaluate the changes you heard in the tones. And then maybe that'll help you make a much more informed decision on what to spend your money on. As for the guitar itself, I think it's absolutely incredible. This is one of the finest instruments I've ever had come into the studio. The action is beautiful. I love the, the semi-rough finish on the back of the neck. Uh, the whole thing just feels great. It does tend to slide down my leg an awful lot and I've even got a foot stand over here. And it's just like, oh, come on, stay. Uh, if this was my guitar, I'd probably be putting some skateboard tape right here to keep it from sliding down. But other than that, yeah, it's just great. <laughs> The great thing about it is the pickup swap system does come as an option. So if you're not entirely convinced that you need new pickups, you could probably grab this guitar with the with just one set installed and do absolutely fine. Now, if you heard any kind of significant shift in there and you're after that kind of thing, absolutely go for it. But as a guy who records bands, if I want to get the best sound possible for my clients, I think the last thing I'm going to be looking at, unless they're noisy, of course, are pickups. Hey guys, if you found the video useful, please hit the subscribe button. I'm getting ever closer to 500,000 subscribers and I need your help to make that happen. I'm going to have a whole bunch of really cool videos coming out this winter, including a look at the greatest and cheapest high gain tube amp ever. It's not going to break the bank and it's going to give you some metal as fuck tones. So if you guys want to see that and a whole bunch of other stuff, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Oh yeah. And if you want to watch what I was talking about there with the blind shootout, check out this video here. The results are hilarious. Thanks again to Cream Tea for supplying the guitar. It's going to be sad to see it go, that's for sure. And thanks to 70,000 Tons of Metal for sponsoring this episode. Hope to see you on the cruise.